So we're driving in with her and we're suddenly stopped by policemen and they asked us to take a diversion. I was like, what's going on? And I saw this amazing procession of guys, drums, colors. I came down with the camera, video what I could and asked what is happening. And they told me that it's the voodoo festival in Wida and I, my interest got picked. And little did I know that I was in for the time of my life, a massive celebration of African traditional religion in Voodoo. <laughs> Every 10th of January in the Wida region, the Voodoo Festival is celebrated, the main event dedicated to this religion. In Benin, Voodoo is the invisible lintel of society, a granite faith focused on devotion to hundreds of invisible gods which gives meaning and order to life of the local population. Voodoo was formally recognized as the official religion of Benin on 10th of January 1996, a date that has since been considered a national holiday. On this occasion, ceremonies, festivals, songs, dances, and large, and large banquets are held in the presence of the most influential personalities of the country's religious and political life. Faith, magic, and the supernatural are revealed through complex rituals and spectacular performances between followers who fall into a state of trance and juju priests in median connection with ancestral spirits. People come from all over the world to attend the Voodoo Festival in Benin. And this begs a question. Why do we demonize African traditional religion in several parts of Africa? This should be celebrated just like Christianity and Islam. Why is it demonized? Hi, my name is Inga Van Dyck. I'm a tour leader here in Benin. Each year I come to the Voodoo Festival to bring guests to show them the world of Voodoo, show them the realm of the spirits, hopefully to help them to connect with the realm of the spirits. This is my sixth time here. Um, I never get sick of it. <laughs> it's always wonderful to join in the festivities of the Beninese people when they celebrate their world of Voodoo. <laughs> Okay, so my name is April, and this is my dad, Clovis, and um, we're from California, but we traced our ancestry to Louisiana, and then from Louisiana to Haiti, and then from Haiti to West Africa, and then specifically here to Beni. So we came here to experience some of our heritage and see where our ancestors came from. So um, my first name is Clovis, my last name is Honoré and it's all French. The Clovises are actually the dynasty of kings that founded France, which is why my mother gave me the name. I didn't really realize that or think about that till I was in my 40s, 
and then I wanted to find out more. And when I found out the French heritage, and then the French heritage went to Haitian heritage, I've been to France to check that side, but I really wanted to find out, you know, as an African American, we wanted to know what's our African heritage. And so that's what brought us on, but began us on this journey. And that's why I found about Haiti. I asked my great uncle about his grandfather, who was Nicholas, who came from Haiti. And then I did some research on Haiti and found out most of the folks from Haiti came from right here. So for the period you've been here, you've experienced a little bit of the festival. I know you're looking forward to um, the main festival, which is in a couple of days time. Have you attended anyone before? Again? Have you attended any of these festivals before? No, but this I came. A... I came here in April, last year of April, um, and spent some time in Cotonou and in Porto Novo, and that's when I found out about the festival. And um, I kind of I struggle with religion at home, with Christianity and Catholicism and all of that. So when I found out that my ancestors, you know, have their own religion, um, I wanted to trace the origins and see what that is like, and maybe. Maybe that, that's a path I could take, you know, to co connect me to my creator and to connect me to nature and all of that in a way that's not so westernized. Okay, so have you been enjoying your stay in Benin? It's excellent. Yeah, outstanding. The food is amazing. The people are kind. Everybody looks like us. Yeah. Everybody see, looks like us. We see people who we think are from home. There's no racism <laughs> here. <laughs> oh my, yes. Like, we can feel safe. We see the babies walking down the street. Yeah. Like, it's safe here. It's sa much safer here than it feels like at home. Bye, man. <laughs>